Greetings my fellow motion magicians, welcome back to part 2 of the Crystal City tutorial. In part 2 we're going to do the shading for the crystals and create the environment around it to just make it a bit pretty. Not all the pretty, but some of the pretty. So now we're back in cinema and we start with creating a new material. We're going to leave the colour, or actually we're going to make the colour white, all the way white. And we turn on transparency and just turn down the brightness down to like 90% because we want it very transparent but still catching some light. Then turn the uh, refractive index to somewhere around 2. I want an absorption colour as well, uh, probably something a bit blue, so I'm going to make it a bit cyan slash bluish. Not too colourful, but just a little hint of colour. And before I forget, let's just do the specular as well. Using the default specular, I'll just make it a bit sharper, because uh, crystals are generally quite glossy, aren't they? So if we do a quick render now... It looks absolutely stunning. Don't know about you guys, but I think that's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. We need some sort of environment to make this look pretty. Let's just name the material first, Crystal, and then create a new material. Disable all channels except for luminance. And in luminance, I'm going to load a gradient. Here's one I made earlier. It's just a sky gradient, sort of twilight colors. Want that vertical and create a sphere and apply it to the sphere and scale that way up. And now we have this environment and just doing a render and it looks a bit better. Giving the crystal something to refract really helps. So let's give him something more to refract with a uh, landscape. Just something we can use as a simple ground plane. And before things get messy, let's create a new null and call that one envir environ Enviro environment environment right and add our environment stuff to it so lights and the sky for now and then we can just hide those to get those out of our way I'm going to change the display mode to something where we can see what we're doing a bit better um, that's good hidden lines now let's get back to our uh, landscape I want that bigger so it just covers uh, the entire base of the city Something about 1,500, but 1,500 should do the trick. And let's just move it a bit so it sits on the base of the city. Right, now let's just see what it looks like if we render it. And we're outside of the sky. <laughs> so if we just make the sky a bit bigger, we should see the city again. Excellent. Now let's slap a material on the ground, make it a dark one, make it matte. 100% matte and that looks pretty much good enough I'd say. Now the next step is to create the yes, twirling glowing spinning particles with trails. Pretty exciting stuff but for now thank you for your time and I'll uh, see you next time. Stay in motion.